Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This time I'm going to bring you the Dungeons and Dragons, the Honor Amongst Thieves figures from Hasbro. A while ago I've done the reviews on the Dungeons and Dragons actual cartoon series and the the articulation on them, especially like the joints, were a bit dodgy. Hopefully we're not going to see these that type of issue again with these ones. But let's go through one of them first off and let's just start off from the from the end here with Zenk. Comes in this big old golden box. Obviously no plastic packaging for this one. <coughs> On the back side of it. You've got him there and he comes, looks like, with just one accessory with the actual big sword. So let's just crack him open and take a closer look. So here he is, out of the box. First thing on looking at him, the detail. I absolutely love it. The paint applications on this is proper striking as well. It really does pop. But... <clears throat> Let's have a little look at exactly what's going on with him. So his cloak actually pops off. There's like a little peg type of thing here. And he's got a hole in his back for it. It's that type of flexible little plastic. Just a two-tone type of cloak. Not real much going on other than that. The colour application with the gold and the silver next to this jadey colour green is really nice though. Again, these type of figures, I've already had a little mooch of the articulation. And if you do get these, watch out. Because like the cartoon collection, they are a little stiff. They may need heating up in a bit of water, hot water. The head articulation, it's on like a little ball joint, so his head. So his head does tip up, down, twists right the way around as well. The arms is on a ball joint, so they do come straight out. And these, it's not really restricted with the actual shoulders of the armour on the shoulders because that is also flexible. He's got a twist at the actual uh, bicep and they are double jointed on the elbow. Now this is where I'm saying it can get quite stiff. From the actual base of the elbow, it's not that bad. But then I've had to soak these as well see now this one see what I mean where it gets a little bit stiff that one is still not budging so it's on the base there it'll move Up there, just you can see now, even with heating it up a touch, can you see where the plastic has gone a bit white with me pushing on it? The waist does twist around, and he does with his legs. His legs do splay out, they are on a bit of a ball joint. He has got a thigh twist. And again, double jointed on the knees and on the top of the boot. So his legs do bend straight out. And his feet are also on like a little ball joint and twist out as well. So the other um, accessory, well the only accessory this guy comes with is a sword again full detailed little handle on it 
and there's little grip of hand it has, it has got a tight little grip on it there as well they do have little peg holes in the feet and these are the NECA um, display figure stands and with a little push again they may just need a bit of warming up and some hot water to mould that in but with a little squeeze and a little push it does actually fit in there as well without the actual any type of stand they are just not good with standing you'd end up having to like use a bit of blue tack or something but these they do the job but there's my little review on the Dungeons and Dragons on and amongst these figure I'll do another one in the next few days but drop us the comments have, have you got these figures if so were your articulation the joints on them was yours quite stiff did you have that same issue also though what do you think of the film so I recently watched this the other day before I got these figures and I really thought it was great to be fair and especially when you gave the little nod to the actual original six characters from the cartoon in the in the actual film so yeah let me know your thoughts in them comments but thanks for checking in on this one and I will see you on the next but before you go do the usual with the like subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others take care